Every year, some countries move their clocks forward during the spring and then move them back in the autumn in order to get ready for daylight savings time. The idea behind doing this is to have more daylight during summers and allow more time for people to spend outdoors. While the logic is understandable, close to 80% of the world population do not follow this practice. And even those who do are not consistent. For example, in Australia, three out of eight territories do not follow daylight savings time, while the others do. So what's the reason behind daylight saving time? The first known proposal of daylight saving was made by George Hudson in Wellington, New Zealand. He proposed to move the clocks by an hour in the summer months, calling it daylight saving time, while the other time was called as standard time. This was well received at the time, but the idea failed to catch on. However, in the early 20th century, the idea was revisited and implemented by Germany. The Germans at the time were looking to conserve energy, and the logic was that shifting clocks would encourage people to spend more time outdoors, thus saving energy consumed in artificial lighting at home. This might have worked 100 years ago, but does it really work in today's global and connected world? Today, almost 70 countries practice daylight savings time each year. Clocks moving forward by an hour in the northern hemisphere, while the opposite happening in the southern hemisphere. The further you move away from the equator, the weather gets colder and winter gets darker, thus making the summertime more valuable to the population. That is why of the 70 countries that follow daylight savings time, most are located away from the equator. So there is an argument to be made that do we really need daylight saving time today? Various studies have shown that the original idea of energy savings during daylight is not applicable anymore. Rather, there are health and safety issues that come into play. People are less productive the week after daylight saving comes into picture. The shift in one hour of time has been linked to increase in health risks and automobile accidents. The Monday of the daylight saving week has been proven much more fatal than any other time during the year. Other issues present themselves in businesses trying to schedule meetings across multiple time zones which is made extra difficult depending on what time zone you are in your country. There are various opinions when it comes to daylight savings time, but many nations do agree that it is a concept of the past and is not practical today. However, for people living in colder climates, that apparent one extra hour is a big thing. So it is yet to be seen if the world comes together and save us from managing our clocks every few months. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me make more educational videos.